just had a an idea. A brainstorm. Us, a brainstorm. You see, I have winter gloves on. Our, we have an idea for this coming December of a year end and a beginning of the year retreat. New Year's retreat. Yeah, at the monastery. At the monastery, Living yeah. Miracles Monastery in Fruitland, Utah. Yes, it's spectacularly beautiful there. I was just there the other day. It's summertime, as you can see. I'm dressed for summer. David's already preparing for the retreat in the <laughs> winter time. And uh, David took me out there the other day to spend a night at the monastery and to see it there. And I really didn't want to leave. <laughs> I really didn't want to leave. It's so beautiful there. And just as we were approaching the land, it came into my mind, oh, this is the place I've been looking for to have a New Year's retreat. Because I love to go within and do the deep work and be contemplative with like-minded souls at that time of year. It's so precious. It's so nourishing and healing and restorative. So I asked David, hey, what are you doing for New Year's? And he said, here we go. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> so it's got the reverence aspect. It'll be very, very quiet. And you never know what kind of weather. You sometimes have some snowfall. And that can make it really quiet, you know, it's, the snow kind of buffers any little sound. It's very quiet out there, and, and we're, we both have that same vibe of wanting to have that quiet, reverent end of the year and entrance into New Year, and, you know, the Mayan calendar, supposedly this was uh, the end of the Mayan calendar, and uh, I always thought that's kind of an, an end of an old way of, yes. of thinking and perceiving yes. and letting the new way that's guided by spirit, uh, the new perspective come in. Yeah, so we're going to go between the release of the old, the entering into the new, and really standing in our true identity as pure spirit. And uh, as David's saying, it'll be contemplative, it'll be nourishing, and it'll be restorative and healing. And it's also, it's got to be playful. Yes. Very it's got to be playful, so we'll definitely it's be the playing. Snowballs. <laughs> <laughs> having snowball fights and, and playing uh, playing games and dancing with Lisa and uh, and lots of candlelight meditation yeah. and who knows hiking contemplative hikes in the snow and uh, we don't know whether or not we'll have snow of course but it feels like we might have some perfect weather for us to really be in that pristine. Uh, awakening awareness. Yeah, so it's secluded out there, it's pristine, it's quiet, but but also we'll have warm fires and hot cocoa and teas and coffees and all the fun things that, that come with uh, winter time as well. And so it should be quite comfortable, I think. Uh, we have a nice big uh, house uh, to have our main meetings in and group yes. meditations and some sessions. And that's very beautiful with a lot of big picture windows that overlook the, the canyon and everything. So so we'll probably have a, a limit to the number of spots because we just, the monastery is only so big. So uh, we will have a lot of uh, registration information coming and a lot of details coming. But we thought we would just come and give you a warm welcome and invitation to come and join us. Two things I know you're going to want to bring. Bring your bathing suit. Why? Hot tub, hot, hot tub. tub, candlelight hot tub meditations. Overlooking the canyon. If you ever sat in a hot tub overlooking the canyon, that's quite, quite <laughs> glorious. I came out of the cabin yesterday morning, and there was David having his hot tub meditation. <laughs> yeah. And uh, also bring your musical instruments. Yeah. I'm sure we're going to be making some beautiful music together as well. Yeah. yeah so. And also, you may some. People like to come have a simpler retreat. We have dorm space, uh, bunk rooms mm -hmm. uh, for men and women, and also we'll have some private, private rooms. rooms and private spaces available, so you want to book early with those, because those will be just a very limited amount, and those will go very quickly. Also, um, this will be a week, and then if you really feel like you need a little more than a week, we may have some options for staying on an extra week or two, and then um, we actually have an annual sign of retreat that's, uh, I think it's going to start around January and run into February. So uh, that could give an option of anywhere from uh, one, two, up to six weeks. So it's, uh, it's quite a deep dive into the mystic if you wanted to do that. So we'll, we'll have those options available too. Come join us, have fun, and be prepared to really let go of everything that no longer serves you and step into 
the magnificence of your pure loving spirit. Yes. Blessings. Yay! <laughs> retreat time! Yeah! Woo, yeah. Retreat!